to go. The number eight for Hartlepool, one to watch. Right, here we go. Again, Gorman is going to take it. Little chip over, it's the foot to Pritchard with it. Oh, it's a bit of a scramble, and it goes in. I'm not too sure it's got the last touch in it. They're looking at the lineman, but it is Barnett who take the lead. It was very, very scrappy. It was incredible play by Harry Pritchard, who just caught the Hartlepool defence off guard, who got the initial touch, poked it forward. Now Zach Brunt is prowling. The ball's whipped in again. The keeper can't get a hold onto it. It was heading towards goal almost. Here's Coker. Back to Brunt on his right foot. Whips it in again. It's the high head. It almost goes in. Oh, it looked like he was clipped away. And it's been given. It's been given. Wow, it did go over the line. The header. Absolutely magnificent there. Out to Pritchard, drops the ball in nicely, now it's Danny Collins with it, and it's three! Oh my word! Lovely ball in by Pritchard. Bodies galore, but there was Danny Collins, he just got something on it, anything. Dangerous position this, Coco with the ball in. Oh, it's bouncing about, Collins had a chance, and it's crept in. Barnett leads. Collins up from the back. I think there's a bit of an argument going on as to whose goal it actually is. They can debate that in the dressing room. But the bees in front of Hazel. to the penalty area as an option. Swung into a dangerous area and it's put in as well. And Barnett do take the lead right on the far post. Barnett post again, put charge in the centre. Three in the six yard box. It's another dangerous corner and it's another goal from the header from Collins who slides on his knees. Has the ball for Barnett. In it comes, Carl who turns his man really well. Oh, and it's a finger, is it for McDonnell? And he's just about keeps oh. it out, but the rebound is tapped in for Barnett. Oh, Woking also unbeaten in pre-season. Three wins and two draws. It's a great ball to Carnu. He's got Kabamba there. He's got... Oh, my word, what a goal. It's Zach Brunt who gets it. What a great start by Barnett. They have they had the better of it. They've looked strong. In front of him, finds Carnu. Who has a go? Oh, it's Zach Brunt with an absolute cork. I do not believe it. We know he's capable of it. And it's Adebolu alone with his second goal of the season. Unmarked, the giant defender heads it home. Here, post one though. 
And then the shot comes all the way to Armstrong, who puts it in. And Barnett have made it three. Mickey Cabamba with the final touch. Barnett flying, their season is flying, and they are 3-1 up. Yeah, and it's a, it's a gutting goal to give away from our perspective, and they just lumped into the box, looping header, full over Ryan Whitley. Kibamba's back a little bit deeper, but he'll pass it and then try to gain a position in the area. What comes in for Barnett, there's the header, it's a simple one from front, it's 4-1. The bees are buzzing and York City have been well and truly stunned. They have and uh, to make matters worse is I can 